let's show the logical equivalence of biconditional and its expansion. So first we'll write all the variables in columns. Uh, we have P, Q and then we have P biconditional Q and we have P implies Q, Q implies P and this entire statement. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns, and uh, we're going to write uh, each and each and every variable. So first we write uh, we write p, and then we write q, p by condition. Q. In this row we have P implies Q. So we call this we call P implies Q as one. And just for simplification, we can call Q implies P as two. So that's easy to remember. And the final final column would be P implies Q and Q implies P, this entire statement. So we can just write one and one and two. So this means that uh, statement one means P implies Q and statement two is Q implies P. And there is a AND operator between these two. So, after we have decided the columns, now we decide the number of rows. And since there are only two variables, the number of row will be 2 because number of row equals 2 raised to 2. And because n is equal to 2, suppose we have 2 raised to n, that's the number of rows, then it's 2 raised to 2 because n is equal to 2, n is number of variables. That gives us 4 rows. This is for people who have not seen my previous video. I have already mentioned that uh, the number of rows corresponds to 2 raised to n and where n is the number of variables and this is a pure form of variable p and q and all other all other compound preposition are just a different form of p and q so the actual base variable is p and q okay so let me just remove this So let's draw the table and change the color of my pen. This is going to be the header of my my table. not very nice but it will do
So I got three rows now, and that's my fourth one. So I think I have four rows, and uh, in each column I uh, will have different values or all possible combination of truth values for different variables. For example, we will have truth value for p. So we'll start with start with p and call it true true this is false this is again false q is true so we will just write all possible combinations and you can see a pattern here So first row is two, true, true, false, false, and the second row, second column pattern is uh, true, false, true, false. So this will be different in uh, in three variables where we will have eight columns. P by conditional Q is true when both the values are similar. Then both the truth values of P and Q are same, and I think it's uh, true and same at this time, so it's true. One of the value is false, and this is mismatching, so this is going to be false. For this, for this entry to be true, both of these values should be same. Doesn't matter if it is true or false. They have to be same, and this again false. Since both are matching, uh, even though it is false, the truth value is true. P implies Q. P implies Q is false only when P is true and Q is false. And you can find out about this in my one of my previous videos. And in other cases, it is true. In all other cases, it is true. Similarly, the only time when Q implies P is false is when Q is true and and the uh, and P is false. This entry would be false, and the rest of them would be true. No matter what value we have. All other entries are true except this one when Q is true and P is false. So now that uh, we have 1 and 2, let's AND 1 and 2. And the AND logic says when, whenever, whenever 1 is true and true is, 2 is true, both the entries are true, the output is true. For AND, the output is true only when two of its variables is, all of its vari variables are true. Even if one of the variables is false, the truth value of the statement would be false. So that means P implies Q is false and Q implies P is true. The entire statement, this entire statement becomes false. So again, uh, we see that one of the one of the variable is false, so the entire statement becomes false. And both are true, so this entry would be true. So therefore, we can see that the uh, proposition are logically equivalent because. This column is equal to this column. So if we replace 1 and 2 with these two prepositions, we'll get, we'll get the entire, entire statement here. And we know P implies P by condition Q. Value of P by condition true is true, false, false, true. 
and which is similar to true false false true so both the the truth value of the entire two uh, the two sides of this statement are the left hand side and right hand side are equal hence uh, it is a logical equivalence we we proved that it's a logical logical equivalence thank you very much for watching this video